Let's talk about barrel picks. I'm going to pull up my phone because there's a lot. And I'm probably going to remember about half of what I'm supposed to tell y'all here. But, okay, so we had somebody, somebody in the Discord, somebody in the Bruzel Discord. You know, the Bruzel, they, they watch the Bruzel channel, and then they go to the Bruzel Discord, which I will be at the Bruzel Discord after this stream. I'm going to jump in the Discord. If you are a patron, you can link your patron to the Discord. We'll be in the audio-only chat. Uh, the supporter only area of the uh, of the Discord, but they're in there. They're interacting with the community that we facilitate through the channel, which we love. We love the community. We love our Discord. We love the folks in there, and they, you know, have joined the Brusel Patron and decided they didn't didn't want to be a member anymore. And they're um, they're telling me that like, why would they why would they get a Brusel pick when they can just order them online from some unnamed retailers that we won't bring into this discussion. And the answer is, you probably should just order from those retailers. You probably shouldn't. If you don't want to support the channel, if you just want to buy barrel picks, it's probably your best bet. Or is it? Like, we got some stuff we're cooking up here. People aren't giving us time. And I'm about to give you all a little sample of some of the really, really dumb things we're working on. We are pushing the envelope to the max, okay? Pushing it to the max. We had a drop. Like last weekend, weekend before this past one, that was like 1,450 bottles we ran through on that one. And we've got another one we're building up. So the next one, we don't have a date yet. Hopefully end of next month, we're going to have another release. Right now, we've got a Ben Holiday Rickhouse Proof Single Barrel um, Soft Red Wheat. Sit there ready to go. That one's 100% in. Number two, Ben Holiday Rickhouse Proof Bourbon. 100% locked in, sitting there. Number three, Frey Ranch. Got confirmation that it is shipping this week. Should, barring something unforeseen, be in the next drop. We also have three barrels of Old Soul. Honestly, in my opinion, the three best barrels of Old Soul I've ever tried. Now, I've only tried six or seven before we tried ours. But out of the six or seven I've tried... I mean, nine, nine, well, I mean, I guess we tried, we tried eight in that stream. So I've had 15 of them or so. Out of the 15 I've tried, we bought the three best barrels of Old Soul I've ever tried. Um, and those are being bottled in late March and early April. And so they might be there, they might not. Don't know yet. But we also have been told, again, we got to wait till the retailer comes through, but we have been told that we have a bottle that we did not select of Buffalo Trace that will be in this release. So we'll have a Buffalo Trace store pick as well. But, like, nobody really goes to Buffalo Trace and makes picks anymore much. Like, they usually just send them out. Um, it's a select few usually that win the opportunity to go there. Um, we also have some misfits we can pick from. We'll see. I'm still debating if these make it. But we've got an old Potrero rye that's just weird and not for everybody, but it's interesting. Uh, we've got a Rebel Cast Strength 120 proof. We've got a Knob Creek 120 proof. We might add those in there. We might. We might not. Um, and then we've got some picks. Let's talk about the picks we've already done that are on their way, We don't, but we don't have a timeline on it. We bought four barrels of Tennessee whiskey from Old Dominic. Might be one of the best Tennessee whiskeys on the market, barring some of this Jack Daniels stuff I'm going through. We bought a barrel from New Riff. We bought two barrels from Detling. We bought, uh, we've got a Crittenden's Toasted Pecan coming. We've got a Crittenden's Four Grain coming. We've got a Crittenden's Double Oak coming. And then we get into some we're about to pick. We've got samples here from Paul Sutton. Um, interesting stuff there. And we're talking to Barrel Craft Spirits about doing a rewind on the old school, the first barrel pick we ever did was the Barrel Craft Spirits Brusel Orange Label, maybe running another one of those, or or doing something a little different. All the good stuff was gone by the time I received the email. Bill, we are working on communication. We'll talk about that here in a second, too. We'll talk about what we're working on as far as how the picks will drop. I don't know if we'll have it finished by this next release, but don't depend on the emails. Go to the club page and log in. Um, that's gonna that's gonna help you a whole bunch.
But let's talk about the dumb stuff. Let's talk about how how Bruzel is taking it to the next level here, okay? Um, we are having conversations with a few distilleries about doing something that I haven't seen before. I'm sure it's been done. I haven't seen it. Definitely not from somebody that sits on YouTube and talks to a camera for a living. But we are having conversations with uh, Ben Holiday. First, we're going to Ben Holiday in June. And we are going to try to do a distillery takeover, a lot like we did with old Dominic. And we're going to have as many people as want to come to Weston, Missouri. And we are going to pick six barrels of Ben Holiday Rickhouse Proof. I want three bourbons. I want three weeders. That's number one. Six barrels, one sitting. Number two, we are going to stay an extra day. I, and oh, I was told we might be able to get a cave collection too. We might. We might be able to get a cave barrel. Don't know. We're going to find out. Um, we are also talking about staying an extra day and maybe doing a really special 18 barrel small batch blend. I, I said it. I, I didn't say eight. I didn't say 10. I said 18. Special Brusel collaboration. I'm trying to talk them into pulling it for all from the top of the Rick House. 18 seventh floor barrels. I don't know if they're going to do that yet, okay? So don't, don't quote me if that doesn't work, but we'll do some sort of really weird, crazy something. But we're going to have a full Brusel small batch blend of holiday, okay? It's what we're trying to work on. We will, we are, we will be able to ship to New York. We can ship to, by the time these drops, we should be able to ship to 49 states. Okay, should be able to. Uh, yeah, I'm stoned. Hey, brother, please don't forget about Canada. I'm, we're doing everything we can to try to get these into Canada. I don't know how long that's going to take or when it's going to happen, though, right? So 18-barrel blend. All right, if you've seen that, let me know in the chat right now where you saw it. Let me know. Go ahead. I'm waiting. I'll keep talking, then I'll come back to you. Uh, next, we are talking to Old Dominic. Now, Old Dominic has their Hewling Station stuff, and that is their mash bill. They have distilled at MGP and aged in Indiana, and they've been releasing it under Old Dominic while they aged their own stuff. Like, they've been distilling for a long time. They just had to get their own mash bill that they distilled up, um, up to snuff, up to age. And it is up to age, and it is beautiful. Like, their high rye bourbon is fantastic. Like, out of this world good to me. I like high rye bourbons. Um, so we are talking to them, having a conversation tomorrow about possibly doing a 10 barrel small batch collaboration blend with them. So 18 holidays, 10 old doms. We're also having a conversation with Barrel Craft about maybe doing a bigger blend, right? Michigan, Jeffrey does not ship yet. It should ship by summer. By the time these drop, um, these big blends, by June or July, we were told, we should be able to ship to Michigan. They will, they, I mean, they got to be barrel proof. I don't want them if they're not barrel proof. Like, what are we doing? Like, these got to be a barrel proof small batch. It has to be. Like, what are we doing if we, like, we need to make our whiskey, our whiskey needs to be in the bottle as God intended it. And that is whatever proof it came out of the barrel. That's how it was supposed to be, okay? We don't need to be watering this crap down. We also got a really cool opportunity with uh, Chicken Cock. Okay, don't be juvenile. Don't be, I see that smirk on your face. Don't be juvenile. But they did say we could custom do, a, maybe do a double oaked, and we could have a custom label of me riding a chicken on the label, like full custom label, not tater stickered, full custom label of me riding a chicken. We'll see if that comes to fruition. It's what I asked for. It's what they said they would do. We also have 7-3 Distilling we're having some conversations with. We might do something here pretty good uh, with them. It looks like we're going to be headed down to the New Orleans Bourbon Festival here in a couple of weeks too. So if you're down there, let me know. Uh, we're having a lot of conversations with Good Times Bourbon, Middle West, Watershed, ASW. Like, I'm top still talking to folks at Short Barrel. We got some special things we're doing over there. Um, oh, we've got meetings scheduled right now. Nothing locked in, but we're talking to Backbone. And I really like that rabbit hole high gold cash strength. We dropped on the last one. I want my own barrel. So we got a conversation 
going with them as well. And we ain't even got to the biggest announcement. Like we ain't even got to the big announcement yet. Y'all go ahead and drop your guesses in the chat. What do you think the big announcement is? Go ahead, give me some guesses. Don't mash the chicken. Oh, let's see the pose for me riding the chicken. I'm gonna have my cowboy hat on though. Neat Nate, we will be starting our own brand at some point in the future, but right now we're just trying to get people access to good whiskey. That's that's all my goal is right now, is just getting y'all access to good whiskey. So let me know. I haven't seen any guesses that make sense. Uh, any updates for Spillway? We'll talk about that here in just a second, too. All right, JD Picks, JD Picks. Eh, some, y'all are some good guesses. Y'all are some good guessers here. Um, all right, so we're, let's finish these, then I'll have some more, and then we'll talk about the Spillway event as well. All right, so we are, we have a, we now have a direct relationship with a little spirits producer you may have heard of called Brown Foreman, okay? And in that relationship, we are, we are top of the wait list for a Jack Daniels and Woodford Reserve um, two-barrel blend in one-liter bottles, as well as when Old Forester allocations are awarded. So we should have an Old Forester coming at some point when they award allocations. We could do a Jack Daniels and Woodford Reserve two-barrel blend in one-liter bottles. And Jay Franco with the bruisal clout level is re- rising steadily. I, dude, it's it's getting out of this out of this world. It's getting out of hand. Uh, and then we've got a Woodford Double Oak pick that we're supposed to be getting samples on here pretty soon. And we're getting five barrels of Jack Daniels Distiller Select. Three barrel-proof Tennessee whiskeys, two barrel-proof rice. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some moderators on Discord, and they get to send in their profile that they want for each of their barrels. Like each barrel will be allocated to a moderator. They will send in their profile. And then the distiller will select the barrel based on that profile. And then I will try all the barrels of rye and the barrels of bourbon, and we will declare winners for each of those barrel picks to see who has the best, in my opinion, Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof um, barrel. So that, like, was that enough updates on barrel picks? Should I have done more? Should we have moved more mountains to try to do more crazy stuff. Y'all let me know if that's not enough, right? And that's why when somebody over in Discord is giving me a hard time, it's like, I can just order this stuff online. I'm like, you're right. But like, you gotta understand we're on step two, bro. And we going to 12. Like, calm down. You know, give me a minute. Whiskey moves slow. You know, we can't do this in a hurry. We're pushing the limits. Like, and I'll be honest. When we did our first barrel pick, I was like, I don't know if anybody will buy this barrel. And then we did four, and I was like, that's a little too much. And then we did five, and I was like, it's probably, and then we did five and a bunch of misfits. Like, three other barrels wasn't even ours. And I was like, it's probably a little too much. 18 barrels, probably a little too much. But we don't know till we do it, because the B team keeps coming through. Uh, We are going to talk about the Spillway event. April 6th, the 6th of April. What are we like, a few weeks away from that at this point? Something like that? We are going to be in Brandon, Mississippi at Spillway Wine and Spirits. They are having their annual whiskey lottery. So you show up every hour. They're going to draw tickets. They're going to have 100 plus bottles every hour for like five plus hours. You draw a ticket, you win a chance to go in there and buy a bottle at a reasonable price. They're going to have a ton of barrel picks you can only get in and around Mississippi. They're going to have a ton of distillers. I know Seth Detling's going to be there. Uh, Matt Crittenden's going to be there. They're going to have quite a few other distillers. They're going to have a ton of barrel picks. They're dropping the Crittenden's Toasted Pecan and a whole bunch of his barrel picks, which we love. Uh, It's going to be an event. We're going to do an infinity barrel. So we're going to be at Old Soul the day before. We'll talk about that in a second. And then we're going to bring over a barrel, an empty barrel. You bring a bottle of bourbon or Tennessee whiskey, unfinished. You pour it in the barrel. You get a sticker. At the end of the day, we're going to pump you out a bottle of that Infinity Blend. So worst worst case, you come, 
Will's going to be there. Jill's going to be there. We're going to have a merch tent set up. It's going to be a party in the parking lot. We're going to have a good time. I know a lot of folks are talking about camping. You don't really need to camp for this event because you just like you just walk up there and get a ticket and you get your name drawn, right, or your ticket drawn, and then you get in line. So you can. Like, it's a parking lot. He, he doesn't care. Um, but you don't need to to try to get access to the whiskey. Uh, I know a lot of folks are renting Airbnbs. Like, we're going to have a really big party there April 6th. So if you're in and around Brandon, Mississippi, or you got a day off, it's a Saturday, head on over. We're going to be there having a fantastic time, and you're going to get access to some cool bottles of whiskey. Um, the day before, it is not locked in yet, but we're doing something. So if you can make it over Friday before, so Friday the 5th, um, we are working with Old Soul to do a party at their facility as well. So we're going to set up, we are going to try to do a barrel pick and we're going to try to have like a certain number of people. So it might be, it might be limited to like the first 50 people that show up to that event are going to get access to do the barrel pick with us. Like just go through and sample and then choose which barrel you like, whichever one gets the most votes. We're going to bottle it up on site. So at the event, the first 50 people are going to get to help us with a barrel pick. Details pending on that. Like some of this stuff we're still trying to work out. And then they're literally going to bottle it that day while we're having a party in the parking lot. And you'll be able to buy a bottle of that um, to take home with you that day at the event, which is just going to be, that's a nuts thing. Like we like pushing the envelope. That's a push in the envelope. I've never had anybody say, hey, pick one. We'll bottle it up. Y'all can take it home with you. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun there. Um, we're also going to we're going to be there doing some stuff. They're going to be bottling our barrel pick. We're going to be doing some stuff earlier in the day. But we're going to try to maybe get some food trucks there. Like we're still working out the details of that event. But if you've got time, be there Friday. We're going to do something really, really fun and cool. So people want to camp so they can party. I mean, I might swing by and just see what's going on with the party. I'm not camping all night. I, I'm going to have a hotel with a really nice bed. I'm going to sleep in it. I need my beauty sleep because we're going to go hard on Friday, and then we're going to go hard on Saturday. So I need a little rest in between. Eric, it is April the 6th. It's the Spillway event, April the 5th. We're going to be in Jackson, Mississippi, which is right next to Brandon, where, where the Spillway event is, um, doing something with Old Soul. So take a, cup, take a day off. Come on over Friday morning, be there Friday afternoon, plan on being there. Make sure you're in our mailing list or in our Discord or go to our patron. Um, there's a free tier on patron. If you, you know, if you don't want to pay money, that's cool. I understand. Um, just be in the free tier. Like just connect with us somehow so we can post notifications. Also, if you're watching this, do me a favor. Like I've been jumping on Twitter. Every day I've been trying to go on Twitter for an hour and just interact with folks. I need to grow that Twitter base. We got like 1,100 followers on Twitter. It's pretty measly. It sucks. Also, this past weekend, we had two impromptu meetups, one in Knoxville, one in uh, Gatlinburg, but it's hard to get in touch with. We can't get in touch with people on YouTube, so we posted it to Instagram. So when we go places, we're going to start posting to Instagram. So make sure you're following us on Instagram if you maybe want to be a part of our impromptu um meetups. So follow us on some of the other platforms. It's just easier to communicate. I mean, we can't communicate on Twitch and YouTube and all those things when we do something impromptu. So, but you need to do a tater sticker for the Spillway Brusel Infinity Barrel to put on our barrel, our bottles when they're refilled. So, but already, already in the works. We already got a design for it. Uh, somebody gave me some artwork. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if we can use it, but like me as Buzz Lightyear, an infinity bottle to infinity and beyond. Um, so when you bring your bottle and pour it in, we're going to tater sticker it, and then you got to take your bottle with you. And then you got to bring it back with the tater sticker for us to fill it because we can't keep up with like 200 bottles. Any upcoming releases you're excited about? Like general releases, there's a new Coy Hill coming. Um, from our barrel picks, um, there's some I can't tell you all about yet. Like I, if you were watching the stream at the start, we went through a whole bunch of updates. And just know there's stuff going that I can't tell you about yet. So, and there's some stuff we're working on that might take a year plus to actually come to fruition. So, that's a big word, I know. Um, but lots, I mean, I'm excited about everything. That's what's great about this stuff. I'm more excited about 
finding small distilleries that are doing great stuff. So we're talking to a lot of, of small distilleries that may be doing great stuff. I don't know till I try their whiskey. Um, I'm excited about a lot of the barrel picks. I'm excited about these private release uh, blends that we're trying to do because we found some folks that make great whiskey. Can we do something unique that they've never done in a small batch for the B team? And so it'll be a unique expression of their stuff. It may be something finished. It may just be a blend like the Ben Holiday blend. Can we just pull everything from the top of the Rick House? I don't know. We'll find out. It'll be fun. Uh, when did you sell all the bit? I have not sold all the Ben Holiday, but so we've got two Ben Holiday barrels that'll be released end of next month. Um, again, at join one of the patron tiers, join the free patron tier. But then, like, you know, you're gonna you, the Ben Holidays are gonna go pretty quick. Now they're gonna be two Ben Holidays and a Frey Ranch in that drop, so they're gonna last a little longer than they might normally because that's three super super desirable bottles. But honestly, if you don't get one, your consolation prize is a freaking Crittenden's Toasted Pecan. Oh, my God, you won the freaking lottery. Give me That is better. Our drop next month is like 100% better than the actual Alabama quarterly lottery system. Give me a break.